Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm most dif disappointed in. Um, I've been having suspicions it might not happen. I can't get a word from him. I've been trying to reach him for over a week. So, yeah, I'm really disappointed. We've been training hard. I brought my trainer here from Albany. So, um, but I kind of thought this could possibly happen. I've worked with him before. But I think the bigger disappointment for me is that my February fight has fallen through because I didn't sign the contract in time because we had negotiation problems with the amount of days before I was allowed to fight, and this December one was causing the problem, so I've now lost out on two bouts. Uh, obviously, you've been working hard to prepare for two fights and now nothing in, in the near future. Uh, so what's what's next for Teresa? Well, um, my, me my um, trainer works with a promoter in Albany, so they do a show every few months. They have one this weekend. They'll have another one in February, so he's pretty confident he can get me on that. And then there's fight night here in March. I haven't talked to anybody yet, but I, if I can come up with a sponsorship, I, I have a good feeling they may go for it. It's worth definitely trying, and I'd love to fight here. That's ideally what I'd like to do. So, you know, I just have to be positive. A lot of times you get calls last minute, and I'm not normally ready, so this time I will be, and I'm going to stay in shape and keep training. And, and I, I have contacted the February promoter and just let him know if anything falls through with the opponent, you know, I'll be ready. So you never know. Something will work out. Right. So February was due to be another title bout. Um, when do you think you'll get another chance to fight maybe the winner out of that one? Well, I think I'll definitely get... There's not a whole lot of middleweight girls that um, fight, so I think if she wins the title, as they hope, in February, they'll have her fight again, probably within three months. So, you know, I think I'll definitely get the next option. I've just, you know, kept the lines of communication open with them and told them I'm really eager and hope they will get me for the next one. Now, you, you mentioned um, possibly fighting in Albany in February and then fight night in March. Is that too close, uh, try to fight, try to get in shape or get, no, staying in shape for two not. fights? I mean, the one here, we don't we don't have strict, like the problem that got with this one is the contract stated I couldn't fight 60 days before, and Trinidad Boxing Day was 47 days before. So I was trying to ne renegotiate for 45 days. In the meantime, they just went and found somebody else. And then, you know, so it, it wouldn't be like that for the March one. And the likelihood of me getting, really that that is for when you get knocked out. You know, you get a suspension, so. It's never happened before. I'm going to take my chance. It won't happen again. Okay. So for 2012, you're really looking to get back into the ring and, and, and get back into action and give, give Bermuda some hope? Yeah. I've had a tough year this year just with the knee surgery and different things going on. But uh, I feel really, like, motivated, especially now. So when you've trained so hard, it's, like, really... Um, and you know all the guys at Rigo's gym have been great at helping me out. And you know, so I'd love to. I'd love to do it here. Have them be in my corner, and we just do it here. So something will work out. Okay. Well. Good luck. Thanks, Sarah.